warm welcome to innovative active learning of engineering drawing today i am going to demonstrate and explain the orthographic projection of straight lines inclined to both reference planes by using rotating line method now we are going to make the straight line model by using the following materials what are the materials required for this model making activity one is cardboard sheets plastic stick pin or pencils marker pen scale or ruler then glue and scissor now i will describe how to make the model first take the two cardboard sheets and join them using glue by keeping the perpendicular to one another then take the pin or pencil to locate the points on horizontal plane for the required dimensions after that straight line model stick is placed on the top of the pin and pencil now i will show the model i made for your explanation purpose then we are going to i am going to describe the steps involved in drawing the projection of straight lines inclined to both the planes by using rotating line method step number 1 it construct the reference line x y and mark the front view and top view of end point a of the line ab on vb and hb as a dash and a respectively step number 2 draw the projection of the straight line parallel to vb and inclined to alpha with hb now draw the front view on the vertical plane as a dash b dash step number 3 by keeping the straight line parallel to hp and inclined to beta angle with vb draw the top view of the straight line it will be represented by the length a b on hb step number 4 draw the two locus lines one from b dash on vb as locus of b and another line from locus from b step number 5 by using the rotating line method draw the downward arc from b dash to b2 dash in the extension of a dash we get b2 dash now draw the vertical line from b2 dash it intersects the locus line b at b2 now join a b2 which gives the true length of the straight line and the angle theta represents the true inclination with vp similarly draw the upward line from b and it will intersect the extension of a at b1 dash now draw the upward line from b1 dash to meet the locus line at b1 dash now join this a dash b1 dash which also gives the true length of the straight line now the angle theta represents the true inclination with vp checking this by joining b dash and b for perfectness next step i am going to see we are going to see the important 12 parameters used in this projection of straight line one is o dash o a dash front view position of end point second point top view position of end point o a then true length of this plane a dash b1 dash and a b2 then front view position of the second end point o2 b dash then 
top view of the second end point O to B, then true inclination of the line with HB represented by angle theta, then true length of the line with VB represented by pi, angle of inclination of front view with HB alpha, angle of inclination of top view with vertical plane represented by beta then final front view length a dash b dash distance then top view length represented by the letter a b finally the distance between end projectors o1 and o2 Minimum of 5 parameters are required to solve the problem on projection of straight line. Now, in my next video, I will solve the variety of problems on projection of straight lines. Thank you for watching this video. Active learning. Happy drawing.